hey loves welcome to my channel if you're new here and if you're returning then hey girl how you doing today we're getting into how i laid this lace so if you want to see exactly how i did it then keep watching you want a supermodel pose i'm your real friend winnie i'm starting out with my hair girl super dirty i've been wearing wigs and stuff for a couple of weeks and i haven't really washed it so it's kind of like braided out and matted everywhere child but I just threw it in a bun in the back and popped on my wig cap the same way that I normally do. If you want a more in-depth video on my ball cap method, then definitely let me know. But it's pretty standard and simple. The star of the show today is this really pretty wig that I got sent from XRS Beauty. All of the details about the hair will be down below in the description bar, but it is a 13 by 6 parting space wig with clear lace. This is regular brown lace. This is transparent lace. And this is the new clear lace from XRS Beauty. As you can see, it's seamless with the skin. So I'm really excited to go ahead and install it on my hair today. I've already popped it on so I can kind of get an idea of how it fits and make sure that everything is where it needs to be. The hairline is pre-plugged, so I honestly don't need to do too much with that, but it is a little bit low in the middle. My hair starts quite a ways back in the middle, so I'll go ahead and trim that off once I apply the wig, but for the most part, the hairline is really, really nice to be straight out of the box like this. Like, it's giving. I'm just trimming around those ear tabs. And then I'm going in with some melting spray and kind of blending in the edges on my wig cap. Because the lace is such great quality, you really want to make sure that your wig cap is blended in to perfection because you'll really be able to see through it. So to blend it even better, I'm going over it with some foundation. And as you can see, it looks really seamless and it lays really well under my wig. Now to lay my wig down, I'm using the Bolt Hold Liquid Gold Gel. It's pretty much glueless, but the hold is really, really nice on it and it's alcohol free. I'm trying to use more alcohol free products when I can, just for the health of my hair. So I'm just applying a really thin layer and then spreading it out. Paying some extra attention to the ear tabs because that's where my wigs always lift first and I don't have time for it today, honey. And then once we have a nice thin layer of that bowl hole liquid gold, I'm going to go in with my blow dryer and just kind of get it tacky. And then I'm going to go ahead and lay the lace down and get everything in place. When I do my glueless installs, it doesn't have to be too perfect because if anything gets messed up, you can just use water and, you know, kind of readjust. And to really melt it in, I'm going ahead and adding my elastic band to it. And I'm gonna trim off any of that extra lace just because it's kind of annoying when you can't see. While the edges are cooking and baking and getting nice and laid, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the hair. I trimmed a little bit off the bottom just to make it more even. And then I'm going in with my razor and adding some really soft layers to the top. I'm not going for anything too spicy, just some face framing layers. Then once I take the elastic band off, it's time to go ahead and cut the additional lace off of the wig. But you literally can't even tell that there's more lace on my hair. Like that's how thin the lace is. But I'm gonna go in with my little eyebrow razor and trim as close as I can to my hairline. Keeping it pretty jagged so it looks nice and natural. And I'm kind of doing it in small pieces, starting from the center. 
and as you can see that blend is coming together really really nicely it is melted this lace is really good quality and what i like about it is that because it's so thin and sheer it's also kind of stretchy and just look at that like that's crazy it looks like it's coming right out of my scalp And because I had to trim off quite a bit of hair in the middle, I'm just gonna go ahead and tweeze a bit of hair to blend in the hairline right there. I'm taking a little bit of foam and mousse and kind of smoothing everything back so there's no flyaways. And then with that same spray I used earlier, I'm gonna go ahead and apply it just a little bit to the edges of the lace and that's just gonna really, really melt it into my scalp. And it's also going to lay down any pieces that didn't get laid down before now that we know exactly where the wig is going to be laying. Now to get everything nice and laid, I'm going to apply my elastic band one more time and let that sit for about 10 minutes and then we can go ahead and take it off and start to style the hair. So first I'm just combing through the hair and then figuring out exactly where I want to put my part and getting it as clean and crisp as possible. So I'm just starting off by parting it out with my rat tooth comb and then I'm going to go in with a hair wax and press it out. I'm really just trying to get an idea of exactly how I wanted to style everything so we can get it nice and laid. And so far, this is how everything is looking. It's absolutely gorgeous. I literally can't stop getting really close to show you guys what the lace looks like. Like, literally, it's flawless. Like, flawless. I'm really impressed by the lace on this hair. So I'm going to go ahead and part out the hair that I want to use for my baby hairs right along my temples and my little sideburns. And just press them going towards the front so they're going in the right direction. Then I also went in with my little eyebrow razor again to kind of trim them because I didn't want it to be too blunt of a cut. So I just went ahead and trimmed them down to the length that I wanted. And then I'm going to use my little mini flat iron. It came with an old flat iron that I had, but I really, really liked it. And I'm just going to kind of curl those baby hairs going up so I can get a nice little curl on them. And then laying them down with some pomade. I'm trying to be as detailed as possible in this install video because I haven't made a really in-depth video in a while and I'm trying to take you guys through every single step with me. So I'm applying that elastic band again. I've fallen in love with this thing. I cannot apply a wig without it. And I'm going to let my edges kind of cook and do their thing while we start to curl the hair in the back. So I'm parting out the hair along the nape of the neck and then clipping everything else out of the way. I 
I'd originally went in with my one inch flat iron to get some really tight curls, but I wasn't feeling it. That's just not the vibe I was going for. So I'm going over those curls with my one and a half inch flat iron. This one is from Conair as well. And I really was feeling this curl a lot more. It was a lot looser and it was giving me the look that I was going for. The tight curls were cute, but not today. So I'm just continuing to work my way up my head using the one and a half inch barrel curling iron, getting some really pretty loose body wave curls. I'm not clipping them up or doing anything extra. I don't really need them to be super tight. I want it more of like a body wave vibe. So I don't really mind if the curls fall. I'm just taking my time and working in medium sections until I get closer to the top. And I decided to leave as much footage of me curling my hair in as possible so you guys can see what direction I'm curling the hair in and just get a really good idea of how exactly I styled the wig. I find that it's really helpful to see, especially if you're not used to curling your hair on your own head, kind of seeing like how I position my arms and just how I maneuver to get the style on myself. And as I'm getting closer to the top, I'm curling the hair going straight backwards and I just like the volume that it gives. So to finish up, I'm removing my elastic band and going in with a couple of drops of John Frieda Frizzies just to get rid of any flyaways and then combing the curls out and this is the finished look. You want to play with it a bit and kind of create the shape that you want, but overall this is it. It's really pretty. The quality of the hair is amazing. It held a curl really, really well. So definitely check the link down below so you can try this hair out. And thank you for XRS Hair for working with me. This wig is beautiful. I can't wait to try another one. The clear lace is a thing. Like it kind of got me spoiled. Love you guys. See you in the next video.